<laughs> you coming right for me? Oh. I got a pig! <laughs> Hey, what's going on everybody? Jay here and welcome back to The Ship Life. So I'm currently sailing on Bahamas Paradise Grand Classica. We've just arrived to Grand Bahama. Now, this is an interesting port. I've heard that a lot of people don't like this port because it's a little bit more industrialized compared to other ports around the world and especially over here in the Caribbean. This is my first time here, so I'm gonna check it out today. I have an excursion as well. and We got a ton of other things that are going on. So as usual guys, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. That way you can stay updated on everything going on within the cruise ship industry. And of course you can hang out whenever I do these, I guess, fun vlogs. I don't know if you guys like them or not, but I'm trying. <laughs> So it is time to go meet up for the excursion. We are meeting on deck eight at the Encore Lounge midship. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Ah, can't be show tonight. Deck eight. Oh, I think I'm late. Oh wait, never mind. That's a different excursion. Here's the Encore Lounge. I think we're in the right place. Looks like it. So real quick, while I'm waiting to disembark the ship, there are two things that I want to point out about this particular cruise. If you didn't see my last video, there are under 150 people on board this ship. Now this ship will accommodate about 1,600 passengers, so it's not a very large ship. However, personally, I don't mind when there's just a few people on board the ship, but I like to mingle and I'm a social person. So to me, this number is <laughs> too small, definitely too small. But also another thing too that I pointed out, like most cruise ships these days with the COVID and the pandemic and everything that we're dealing with, normally you do have to wear masks on board. You also are supposed to for this particular cruise. But I've noticed that just about everybody has kind of caught wind of the fact that there's nobody on this ship. So everybody is naturally social distancing from each other. So I don't think the crew or anybody's really enforcing it or anything like that because it's kind of naturally happening and nobody's in close contact with anybody really no matter what we do all right off we go how's it going yeah, yeah I, I get what everybody's saying it doesn't exactly look tropical when you get off in this port <laughs> doesn't exactly scream vacation either way i'm still excited all right, i guess this is where we're meeting at Oh, okay, it's like a check-in point. It's like the duty-free inside. <laughs> then we gotta get on the bus and head somewhere. So from the cruise port over in Grand Bahama, we did have to take a bus over to the beach where we were gonna do our excursion. It wasn't too long, only about a 20 minute ride. Now the bus ride over to the excursion didn't exactly scream vacation. This is due to the fact that Grand Bahama, being one of the largest islands, it is responsible for most of the fuel, electricity, and of course there's a shipyard over there in Grand Bahama. However, when we did eventually arrive to the beach for our excursion, naturally everyone got excited. We just got off the bus, time to get checked in. So it looks like we're gonna hang out here for a little while. They told us just to get comfortable, go swim if we wanna go swim, get our cameras and everything ready. But, uh, oh yeah, I just remember, I didn't even tell you guys what we're doing. So I bought the swim with the pigs excursion package. So apparently we're gonna be feeding the pigs and hanging out with them and whatnot. I'm excited, but either way guys, so uh, just sit tight, hit that like button, and let's go ahead and get to it. So I guess basically this is like phase one we're in like some area that's like it's a lot of water where it's basically waist deep it's really cool uh i mean personally i'm just here to kind of see the pigs but it is ow the sharp rocks be careful if you ever come out here but this is a cool spot i mean i like it i mean for what you're paying and now given by the way the price that i paid for this was uh 79 dollars and we're supposed to be here from 10 to like 3 p.m something like that so depending on what actually happens moving forward not bad. You know something, I gotta be honest. A two day cruise isn't exactly my favorite, all right? I, I like to be on a cruise for like a week or so so I can actually explore the ship and have a good time. And whenever we get to the ports of call, maybe we have multiple, maybe we stay there for a day or two. That's always nice. But being here, I mean, for the one day, it kind of makes it worth it. 
Um, I'm gonna do a full video later on uh, just kind of explaining my thoughts on Bahamas Paradise and them doing the two-day cruises because there are naturally gonna be a lot of pros and cons but personally I just don't have the time to make 500 videos on this two-day cruise so just stay tuned for that. All the more reason for you guys to hit that subscribe button and of course like the video if you're enjoying so far. All right the time has finally come so they're gonna line us up over back here and we're leaving our stuff which I really hope nobody steals anything and then we're just gonna go walk i guess somewhere and go see the pigs we gotta leave our bags phones everything anything that we don't want to get wet basically we stand right here thanks mate yes sir we're going to hang on let's get a little distance in between i'm gonna try and speak a little slow for you okay ah, you're gonna give yeah. me some a little instruction in spanish also as this action usually relaxes them going over the ground as for the do not do not try to grab them Forcing yourself on a pig may frighten them. If he's there and you got a load your stick, just turn your back to him, just like this. No pain, no mind. Turn your back to him, hold your hands up a little bit. Reload your stick. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Look, I think he's got me beat. He's got me beat. <laughs> All right, guys, time to do it. So we've gone over all the ground rules. We've talked to General Brooks. By the way, you see that guy over there in the red? That's General Brooks. He's a tough man. So what we're gonna do is they're gonna bring the pigs out over to us and then we're gonna feed them and have a good time. So we're now out here in the middle of the water, but no pigs yet. Maybe General Brooks is trying to kill us. He's gonna drown us all. General Brooks. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. That's all right. Uh -oh. Coming, oh, I know about to happen. Come on, Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come right for me. Oh. Look. I got one for you, Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> They took all my apples. I gotta get some more. Oh. Here. There you go. I got one more. Oh. They got a baby! I got a baby! Oh my God. baby! He's so beautiful! I got a pig! <laughs> I'm taking him home with me. I'm <laughs> cruising! <laughs> He's mine! I just got reminded why I hate excursions. <sighs> so here's the thing about excursions. Yes, they're nice, they're convenient, they make sure you get back to the ship. That's something a lot of people tend to worry about when it comes to excursions. But here's the problem. So I did the swim with the pigs, which is amazing. I'm not gonna knock them on for that. That, that was absolutely fantastic, it was great. I've never said fantastic in my life, but it was fantastic, all right? I had a good time. But the problem is, they charter bus us over here and we have to charter bus back, right? So we're stuck here. We're at their kind of like, their whim now, all right? We're their, their prisoners. I'll say it, we're their prisoners, right? So you look around, there's the beach and there is there's the sand and, and, and there's the beach. Right, we, we can't go anywhere until the bus comes back because we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. And I think it's like an hour, two hour walk back. So we're kind of screwed. And you gotta eat at their restaurant and whatnot. I just, I don't like this. I would have preferred to have been back already. I want to do the excursion and go back. I just, lesson learned. This is why I, I very, very, very rarely do excursions. <sighs> I've wasted like five hours today. Finally, the bus is here. I'm saved. So to conclude today's video, overall, I did thoroughly enjoy the Swim with the Pigs excursion and I would recommend it to anyone. However, I don't like being stuck anywhere where I can't get back to the ship in the event there's something else that I want to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I have more videos coming out on Bahamas Paradise, guys. Make sure you hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already because I have a ton of more content coming. Thank you, guys. I'll see you soon. Take it easy.